Saul's daughter, Michael, loved David. When this was reported to Saul, he was pleased. He thought, I will offer her to him as a trap so that the hand of the Philistines may strike him. Speak to David privately and say, the king favors you and all his officers love you. You should become son-in-law to the king. Is becoming the king's son-in-law a trivial matter in your eyes? I'm poor and insignificant. Say this to David. The king desires no other price for the bride than the foreskins of 100 Philistines, that he may thus take vengeance on his enemies. When the servants reported this offer to David, he was pleased with the prospect of becoming the king's son-in-law. Before the year was up, David arose and went with his men and slew 200 Philistines. He brought back their foreskins and counted them out before the king that he might become the king's son-in-law. So Saul gave him his daughter, Michael, as wife. Then Saul realized that the Lord was with David and his own daughter Michael loved David, and he feared David all the more, and was his enemy ever after.